I mean, even in this area, we used to have a um, more more retail units in the area, so there would be more more people passing the door anyway. We've got a very good strike rate now, so the amount of customers through the door that we convert into sales is pretty high. Um, some people come back over and over again. Other people just turn up. Five minutes later, they've bought something. Um, you can never tell. And you have to treat every customer the same because you never know if the <laughs> strange man with the carrier bag is going to have it full of £10 notes. <laughs> um, everybody's valuable. serious about playing you will go for a real piano the sound of it just is that that different children are starting on a keyboard these days more than starting on a very cheap piano and that's quite good because the very very cheap pianos that people were selling they're just not worth having um, so if the children are starting on a keyboard at least it's in tune and it all works but after a few years if they get on with that they'll either go to a full-size digital piano or a real acoustic piano. And there's pros and cons for both. But the real piano sound still can't be beaten. I've tried selling digital pianos in the showroom and when people try a digital piano up against a real piano, they can tell the difference. It's the way the sound is produced. It's, uh, a real piano's got a big soundboard and the sound is transmitted through that with the digital pianos, the weak link is always the speakers. Um, and you can tell the difference, you can feel the difference. Um, and a real piano should last 30, 40 years before you'd even think of doing any work to it. Whereas a di digital piano, electric keyboards, five years, 10 years, and they're a throwaway item. They're not even worth repairing. Um, and that's why the pianos will carry on. The internet has come along as well. Um, we have to compete with eBay. Um, there are shops selling pianos on eBay. I don't see how you can buy a piano without trying it first. Um, but some people do. Um, I get called out to tune pianos that people have bought on eBay and you turn up and it's, it's firewood basically. The business was started in 1945 by Mr. Alec Carstairs. Um, he'd been training in London before the war um, with Brasted and Chapel, who were two piano factories. And then after the war, he came down here and started a business doing piano tuning and repairs and sales. So Dad took over the business in 1967 um, and he ran it all the way up until he died in 2001. Um, while I was still at school, probably 10, 11, 12, I used to come in here on a Saturday and sweep up and make the tea and do odd little jobs like that just to earn some money so I could pay for my school trips and um, those sort of things. <laughs> um, and so it's always been something I wanted to do. Um, but Dad wouldn't train me to do the tuning because you really need to go to a factory where there's lots of pianos being made and they all need tuning. Um, and I worked in Wellmars factory, which is in Clapham, in London. Um, and that factory's now gone, that shut in 2001. So there's now no factories in this country making pianos. Um, so where the train people are going to come from in the future, I don't know. You really can't train anybody in a small workshop. Um, they need to go somewhere where they're making lots of pianos or to college which is the other way. It is the times. I mean there was 
up until a couple of years ago, Her Hereford College for the Blind had a piano tuning course. I mean, it's an obvious thing for blind people to go and tune pianos. That's always how it was. Um, and now they've shut the course. There was one course in London which I think has closed, so there's now one at Newark Technical College, and that's the only one left in the country. Um, and their numbers are down. It's not something that young people think of going into. Um, some shops just sell pianos. And when it goes out the door, that's the last time they see it, that's the last time they see the customer. But I sort of like to build up a relationship with the customer and see them twice a year, once a year, um, and know that the piano's still going to be fine. So I like to control what I'm doing. Piano tunes are dying off anyway. Uh, most of the piano tunes in this area are past retiring age or very, fa very fast approaching retiring age. Because what's going to happen in, in <laughs> another 20 years time? What would I do? Gardening? Do it yourself? No, thank you.